Hello and welcome to The Sherlock Show. I'm Georgie Corridge-Cole and joining me on the sofa today are Charlotte Collins, Lou Huff and Polly Sayer. Welcome ladies. Coming up, I'm going to be putting your questions to the fashion team in today's fashion clinic. Plus, I'll be joined by a top nutritionist and fitness influencer to introduce our very exciting 28-day fitness challenge. If you need some motivation to get moving and get healthy, then this is it. But first, Love Island. Hmm. I'm sorry to say I am hooked. <laughs> I was hoping it wasn't going to happen, but it's happened. I'm, they've well and truly got me. Is everyone nodding? Are we all in agreement? I'm no. Not, I'm normally, like, straight away, I'm in there, and I miss the first week, and then the second week. You're too busy then, being engaged. I know. <laughs> That's the trouble. Um, and now I feel like I'm just at a good, a good point to just take a step back and... Not get, not get too hooked. Oh, but didn't you miss it? No, actually. I think you don't know what you're missing. Yeah, yeah. Really. yeah. Um, I'm feeling a little bit stressed because I've missed last night and the night before. <sighs> it's a lot to catch up on. Anyway, I'll get there. But anyway, I didn't miss the sexism debate um, between Maura and Tom. <laughs> Maura overheard him questioning if she's all mouse, all mouse, all nut. I can't do the Irish accent. I love, I love. I think you're a tree. Yeah. I love your accent. It's amazing. Um, lots of people have argued mm. that a woman being open about sex doesn't have to mean that she's a slag, basically. Um, what do you think? He was just an idiot, wasn't he? Was he was a complete idiot, I yeah. just, You know, you just don't say those... It was, it was like watching a car crash. Like, he said it, and you were like, don't say it. So and what did he all, say? He's, he's, she was given the chance to pick somebody to go into the hideaway with her. She okay. picked him, and he said to all the boys... What did he say? You're, let's find, let's out, find out if she's all mouth. Basically. Let's see if she's all mouth. mouth. Okay, so you're showing off to the boys. And she overheard, and she was like, what, what, what did you just say? <laughs> Terrible Irish accent. <laughs> and, and he repeated it to her, and you're like, mate, what are you doing? Oh, like, and then, at, but I don't think, no, it doesn't make it not sexist, but she stood up for herself yeah. in the perfect and way. And she did, yeah. she behaved. Yeah. I think she's earned herself loads of respect. Exactly. I love her. I and the fact that she slept with six people, not 26, mm, yeah. which I think a lot of people thought. I don't know, the only thing I would say is... If you're going to talk about sex all the time, is it... I don't know, if you're going to talk about it all the time... Is it surprising? Can you then yeah. be surprised that mm. people think you're up for it? I don't know. And like I don't know wh whether he thought that from not watching it, but is it him vocalising that to his friends? I'm sure in his head he was thinking, oh, I wonder. But saying, I think showing off to your friends, yeah. like, is this yeah. going to happen? I think he maybe thought that she could take the joke because she seemed so open about Ooh, talking about that kind I of thing. I think you're right, actually. But she yeah. was like, no, absolutely not. It's okay for me to talk about that kind of thing, but yeah. not okay for you to make but it wasn't, it. And it I, wasn't and I, a joke. I don't think it was no. a joke, but... Yeah, he but tried to play it like it was a joke. She's so crass, though. Like, she's so crass. Like, the first day when she, like, she went on a date with Tommy, and she's like, oh, God, I, like, I just want to sit on his face. Like, yeah. you don't need to that say that. But if a, guy, if a guy spoke like that about a woman, you'd think they were a sex maniac. Like, you would. Yeah. Do you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. If you're going to talk about shagging all the time, people are going to assume that you are shagging all the time. And most girls don't talk like that. Yeah. So yeah. that's why she, yeah. you'll get that reputation. I like. think it's just headlines, the Daily Mail, frankly. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I am, um, <laughs> I'm loving it. I think it's great this year. Yeah, me too. Yeah? Anyway, and can I just say that Danny was never, ever, 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 ever going to pick her. That whole saga was a load of... Completely agree. Wasn't it? it was. I mean, we all knew he was going to pick Arabella from the minute she walked yeah. in. Mm. We knew that. Yeah. Um, well, this leads on quite nicely to book sales, because apparently book sales have declined because we are ditching our books in favour of watching box sets on Netflix or TV. I have to say, I'm getting to bed now thinking, oh, 10 minutes of Love Island or 10 minutes of my... Kindle and Love Island is winning. What do you think? I only ever read books when I'm on holiday, and so Netflix is never going to take that over for me. So there will always be a, a place in my suitcase for a book. Um, I think I need to take that approach. I might not feel so crap about not getting through my book yeah. if I just resign myself to the fact I'm only going to read on holiday. But I'm like that, but I still feel guilty because then I only read twice a year. Yeah. So yeah. I, you still feel bad about it. You have it. a commute, you should feel guilty. Yeah, yeah, I should. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Polly? Candy Crush. Yeah, I kind of feel the same. Like, I really have all the best intentions to read at home, and I really enjoy reading on holiday. But again, when I come home and it's just something mindless to watch on TV at home, that really kind of trumps mm. over the book. But um, there is something special about reading a book, for sure. I went to a friend's house a couple of weeks ago, and I hadn't seen it. And she had this really lovely chair, and I said, Do you sit in that chair? So <laughs> she said, She said, yeah, I sit and read in the evenings. And I was like, do you? Do you not watch TV? She was like, no, I sit and I read my book. And I was like, good on you. And actually, one of the, one of the wellness challenges in the 28-day challenge 
is to read 15 pages of your book, Not in Bed, yeah. which I really loved. Mm. Mm, I like that. It's it's just hard. I just don't have the brain power after four yeah. days' work. I just, yeah. I just don't. I need to see something as opposed to like focus. Yeah, yeah. It's and it's really, really switch off. Like I, when I read, I get really into a novel, mm. so I find it hard to just like dip in and out. So yeah. yeah. Oh, you're reading far too high brown <laughs> stuff. <laughs> uh, let's talk about the Serpentine. Serp I can't say it. Serpentine Summer Party, which was on Tuesday night. Um, known for hosting royals and A-list names every year. I have to say, didn't see many royals or many A-listers, <laughs> yeah. other than Funny Damien... Class. What's his name? Homeland. 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 Oh, Damien. Um, Thank Lewis. you. Lewis. Thanks, Reg. <laughs> Damien Lewis uh, and his wife, they were there. Who else? I mean, any other celebs? Not many. Um, not not A-list names, but there was... No, no. It's not celebrity stylists, sort of well-known. Yeah. yeah. TV not personalities. Many, yeah. Not yeah. as many glam influencers as mm. I'd like to have seen mm. um, either. But... Who was there was Jasmine Hemsley. I'm hoping an image is coming up of her uh, on the screen. Mm -hmm. She looked yeah, she great. I mean, she always looks gorgeous, yeah. doesn't she? Um, I just, yeah, she's stunning. Yeah, yeah, she wore Saloni and she only wears... Oh, is it Saloni? Yeah, Saloni and it's oh. stunning. I love that she's wearing a dark colour, but it still looks summery yeah. and it's asymmetric. And it's, oh, just everything is gorgeous. Mm. So perfect. Just, I mean, you've got a bit of a one shoulder. Yeah. Yeah. I just love... I mean, I know off the shoulder is... Not so popular right now, but give me a one shoulder one and shoulder it's everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Such good luck, isn't it? Uh, Martha Ward was another favourite of ours. Yeah, Martha Ward was there with um, the founder of Love Shack Fancy, and together they wore just the dress. Oh my it's god, the dress. It's and it's just literally my Instagram is all Love Shack because the founder is over at the moment, and I just feel like there's so many like cute garden parties, mm. and they had and they had a press. Um, they're in uh, Oxfordshire. And oh yes, that dinner looked incredible. Oh yeah. god, Love Shack is. The dream. It's so, yeah, so, so now, yeah. beautiful. And the pink, um, that colour oh pink. It's yeah, just such so a great green. Green. Yeah. Yeah. I have to say, I, Ma I think I love Martha's style. If you don't know who Martha Ward is, she's a fashion stylist, very well known in the industry, very respected, has great style. I thought the dress was a bit 80s. I thought the founder of Love Shack looked incredible. Oh, I love Martha's. And yeah, Martha's. I have to say, I love Martha's yeah. too, but it is very 80s, yeah. but I like that. But I think that's It's a bit dress. frou frou, yeah. I thought. I Polly, are you a fan? Yeah, I know, I, I love a big sleeve. So can we, can we just it. talk about your, <laughs> your jumpsuit? Jump yeah. I mean, I'm obsessed with Steam it. Steam Goya? Yes. How yeah. much was it in the Nestle I think it was like 120 quid, so really like not that much. And I felt a bit like, oh goodness, that's a bit much for me, but I'd spend that on a few things in Zara a month. So, so exactly. it's yeah. mega. And you'll wear that so much. Perfect. Yeah, it's really. such a good shade. Such isn't a it? nice, so, slightly yeah. corn flowery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, it's and I just love the material and the sleeves again. And the sleeves. Sleeves yeah. just and anyway, I, I saw it on you and I said, oh, that's really nice. I'm going to have a look. <laughs> I mean, there are still some in stock. Are I they? Think. I haven't yeah. checked this morning, but yeah, there are loads of April. So. You're rocking it. Thanks. Um, anyway, the final final favourite was Jana Coleman. Yeah, also in a jumpsuit mm. by Chanel. <laughs> Pitches, but yeah. <laughs> one day. Um, but yeah, I just I love how she accessorised it with a big Chanel belt as well. It made it a bit cooler because it was yeah, a I like yeah. crochet navy jumpsuit. So yeah, yeah. very cool. Uh, finally today, June is the most popular month for working out, more popular than January, with 70% of the UK saying they're more likely to, to exercise now than in any at any other time of year, in any other month is what I was going to say. One in two are motivated by their summer holidays, one in five by their friends' weddings. Surprised? Mm. Not at all. No. I can totally get that. I always think, like, why try and do that in January when you feel so terrible? Knitwear, hello. <laughs> exactly. No one's going to see the benefits of how great you're working out. Yeah. Yeah. So I think June is a much better month and everyone's kind yeah. of on it together. Totally. I think it's because the days are so long. Yeah. So when you wake up yes. to do a morning workout, it's light, so it yeah. feels it like the day. And then difference. in the evening, you can do a class after work. Yeah, and even just and going out for a run work. in the sun or something. In the morning. Yeah. In the morning. Mm. I, I know you're... I'm looking at you, so you two are <laughs> only as one big gym goer to another. But actually, when I go out in the morning and it's really warm, I'm, I'm like, this is what it's like for people in Australia. Yeah. Who they, oh, yeah. I'm looking at Bella, who's Australian, who you can't see, is behind the camera. <laughs> but people always say that they work out in, in, in Oz. Yeah. Everyone meets for like really early breakfast before mm. works and works out with friends and stuff in the yeah. morning. And I'm like, this is what it must be like. Yeah. Warm and bright and mm. lovely. I wish it was like that all year round. Mm. It'd be so much better. And are you working out more, Polly, in June? I think I am, actually. I think in the winter, again, yeah, definitely under that blanket of a knitwear. Um, and then in the summer, I just feel like it's so much easier to spring out of bed mm. before work mm. and go for a workout. So. Mm. I know. Well, yeah, me too. Although I feel like I'm going to Ibiza in 10 days. I'm like, I'm running out of time. <laughs> <laughs> well, how much can I achieve in 10 days? Is there any point in bothering? But yes, there is because yes. we've got our fitness challenge coming up. Um, anyway, so if you need some inspiration, 
don't go away. But coming up next, I'm going to be grilling the fashion team on all things style. Hi. Good morning, Georgie Corridge Cole. How are How you? Are you? You know, had any sleep? About an hour and a half. Oh, fuck. I might have had nearly three. Going to interview Monica Vinader. Pretty cool. For our Success Stories podcast. Quick, 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 run, 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 run. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> These are our main offices. So we've got distribution centre here. All of our warehouses and all of our jewellery is there that goes globally. Cafe here for everyone. And then we'll take you through to the studio. Um, this is Monica. Moment when they pick something new and they put it on, and the excitement on people's faces is just amazing. This is the idea to really be able to build a business at scale to reach a lot of people but not compromise on quality and design. Monica's great. I mean, it is one of the biggest success stories to come out of the UK in the last decade. Yeah. Full stop. <laughs> that is a really satisfying tilt. Listen to that. A few jelly babies. A couple of those. A few cherries. Summer cherries. Busy strawberries. The licorice. And some rhubarb pasta. Yeah. Enjoy. Oh, she's fallen. She's fallen. <laughs> it's too far. Let's go. Let's leave. She's cracked. She's cracked. My mom, I reckon, would have done. My highlight was making the train. My highlight was Lou making the train. 15 seconds to go. It feels like it was about two weeks ago. Here at Shillax, we like to be helpful. So we have enlisted the help of the fashion team to answer all your style dilemmas. We've got a full house. What fun. Um, we've got lots to get through. Lou, Charlotte, Polly, are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay, <laughs> and go. So, first one, this is from Georgina Rose. Where can I get a stylish, everyday black handbag? We have got three over there. Polly, do you want to pull them up? Yeah. I think we've got Arquette, Azurina, and... Charles and Keith. Charles and Keith yes. is the third. Arquette, for me, is really good. This is kind of a... a, a oh, that's a nice. A Mantle yeah. Gabrielle bucket bag. Super easy to get everything in. I think you'll be surprised actually how much you can fit in there, but nice. it doesn't feel too Quite Louis Vuitton as well. Exactly. Yeah. Um, Charles and Keith is my pick. Um, I think them, along with Matt and Nat, have such good, you know, under £100, really great affordable options, good for every day. Smart. Charles and Keith is a good thing to pull out, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Checking out mm -hmm. really affordable bags. Yeah. Designer-inspired bags and, and shoes. And shoes as well, yeah. yeah. And that's a good office yeah. bag, isn't it? Really Everybody good, yeah. really good. Good Roomy. one. Roomy. And okay. finally, Polly, this is you. And this is Azarina, which are quite a new brand, I think, aren't they? And they do really nice, That's very nice. design-inspired yeah. bags. And I thought this was a really good one. I love the croc. And again, roomy. Good yeah. And is that S, is that personalised? Um, yeah, so you can personalise that. It's obviously S for Sherlock, but oh, you can get your very initials. Very nice. Oh, cool. Can you scratch that off and put P? <laughs> yeah, I will anyway, do. Anyway, <laughs> um, can we talk about branded bags that aren't too expensive? I mean, all of those, like Matt and Nat, again, is another really good example. They're also vegan, so great, under £100. Yeah. But, I mean, look, Zara, Mango, like, they, those are great black everyday handbags, all those brands. Yeah. Okay. And Anna, the story is also really good. And Cos, I think, just some Cos, really yes. Yeah. Cos, a good one. Classic yeah. um, everyday bags. Okay, everyday. good. Yeah. Uh, Sara, Elia, Elia, 16, anyway, Sara. <laughs> Sara says, style tips for really hot weather, but she wants to stay covered up. Linen. Uh, cube Polly. <laughs> I'm just going to talk about your scene, go ahead. Okay. Uh, Charlotte, again. sorry. Yeah, linen. Linen all day, every day. Every, you know, this, it, linen used to be a kind of, if you're going on safari thing, but it, it is everywhere now. We've got linen trousers coming up next week on the yeah. site. Um, linen blazers, just yeah. linen. Yeah. Can I say, m and I did a come shopping with me in m and yesterday. The linen in m and right now, yeah. killer. So mm. check that out. Uh, done that one? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, Tyndall London says, I'd love to know your advice for dressing a boyish figure. I'm totally straight, up and down, and no waist. Think Cameron Diaz without the beauty or the charisma. Don't be too harsh on yourself. Uh, I really struggle with dresses. Any advice? Well, that is right up my street. I'm, I am the same. <laughs> Go with separates. Don't worry about not wearing a dress. I used to really worry about that, but actually just embrace the separates like I'm wearing now. Um, yeah, I think you can get some amazing tops, as we were talking about earlier, asymmetric if you want to wear something a little bit more interesting. But I think just don't panic about it and don't get hung up on what your body isn't and just focus on what looks great. Like, good people would love that. You do also look very good in a wrap dress, though, because it creates oh, that shape. Oh, I was just saying, yeah. a wrap dress. Yeah, a wrap dress. Yeah. 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 Like the shape you're wearing today, because it gives you the illusion yeah. of, of curves. Yeah. Mm. Yes, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I would say just embrace your figure. That's the kind of body that um, many people would die for, so yeah. 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 <laughs> yes, quite. <laughs> okay, Anna loves stripes. Sorry for the boring question, but wedding guest outfit ideas. 
is. I don't want something too high street as I worry someone else will turn up in the same thing, but also not too high end. What do we got? That is always the biggest worry, isn't it? That you're mm-hmm. going to turn off the wedding with somebody wearing the same outfit. Yeah. And yeah. Don't wear Zara. But I think just rock it. And you just, you've yeah. got to embrace it. Have a together. Start exactly. it out. Yeah, exactly. Start it out. Well, we bought some of our, our yeah, own. Charlotte, do you want to get to yes. so, Yeah. So this is mine. This is from uh, Les Reveries. Le, Les Reveries, as it, <laughs> if you're searching it on Les Reporter. Um, no, it, wasn't, it wasn't cheap, but it is in the sale now. So you can get it for a little bit less. And God, I just love the colour so much. Yeah, and it got, it got a lot of compliments when I went yeah. to the wedding. Nice buttons on the side as well. Very. That. Nice, that's on sale right now. Yeah. Um, Polly, what have you got? So I know you said you don't want to tie up in things that everyone else is going to tie up in, but <laughs> this is from Zara, so I think, yeah, that's a risk. But I think because it's a one shoulder and it's a bit bit different, I think maybe this will be an unusual one. And I just think it feels very Attico. Love the one shoulder. Again, we've talked kind of spoken about that. It's really mm. nice. Yeah, very it's really cool. It's also subtle enough that if somebody else is wearing it, it's not like a totally. big design. Yeah, no, totally. Exactly. Stand out, is it? Yeah, and just no. style it in. Wear better that. accessories. Yeah, and I think it's quite a cheap and cheerful one, so yeah. Big yeah, 50 quid or something. Yeah. 60 quid. Nice. Yeah. Lou, what have you got? Um, so, I, I was talking about wrap dresses. Mine is a um, wrap dress from Beulah. Such a beautiful print on this. It's quite long, so it almost looks a little bit like a jumpsuit when you've got it on. But I think there's that little tie detail around the waist, and then for me, just having a little puff sleeve, just to mm. give me that extra bit of shape mm-hmm. really yeah. helps. Mm-hmm. Gorgeous, Definitely. love that. Okay, mine. I can't remember where it's it. from. <laughs> I mean, the label say? I had looked, and there's no label, Georgie. So, oh. <laughs> well, what I wanted to say about this dress was um, this. I bought on matches. I can't remember. Three the Graces, that one. It's not or Three Graces. Ma- it looks a bit. No, no neither. Okay. Um, anyway, anyway, it's silk, but they do loads of linen ones. They do loads of cotton ones as well. What I want to say is, I have worn this. I think buy a dress you can wear for other occasions. It doesn't yeah. have to be too weddingy. I love the Beulah, but it's quite wedding-y. You can't wear that to work, you, you know. And actually, I think by something like this that you can wear on holiday and dress it up. I've mm. worn that to a winter wedding with a pink fur coat. Amazing. And amazing gold accessories. I've worn that on the beach in the summer. So I think just just yeah. buy stuff that doesn't necessarily scream wedding. Mm. Nice. And mm-hmm. does it go off the shoulder? Do you wear it up, down? I've worn it sideways, off the shoulder. Nice. That's you know, all you know, But I just look at, look at holiday wear as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It doesn't have yeah. to be wedding wear. Um, okay, Alexandra Kingston says she's in the early stages of pregnancy. She's going to the races at the end of the month. Um, she'll be 14 weeks. Poor you. It's not <laughs> it's the time you feel so like... Um, any suggestions for some pretty dresses or jumpsuits that will flatter... Rather than people thinking I've just put on a few pounds, I don't want to break the bank. Love your thoughts. What do we got? So, this is from ASOS, this one. Oh, pretty. Just another another yeah. wrap, ruffles. I think this is the type of thing as well that you almost, you don't want to be too like body con, but you want to show that there's something, I guess, yep. yeah, there's something there. A little bump. Yeah. Love that. Mm. Um, and kind of embrace that. And That's great a for a wedding. Dress. Yeah, that is yeah. great. A wedding. Exactly. Work, Work that anything. Again, okay, yeah. um, we've got Lovely. a one from Ghost coming up. And uh, this one is from Ghost. Oh, this was oh, one yeah. of our favourites from really last pretty. summer. It's just it's different ruby. Colour. Yeah, yes. different colour. We liked it in blue last year, but and pink. yeah, yeah. And I think so. it was a pale well. pink. That's coral. Yeah, That's yes, exactly. Yeah, more of a coral, isn't it? This. Yeah. But I think with these as well, like you obviously you can wear them when you're pregnant, but also when you're not. Mm-hmm. So you don't want to buy something that is just for your pregnancy, and then you're never going to wear it ever again. Yeah, so, so these are right. lovely pieces. So if you are spending a little bit more, for example, with a ghost one, you know you're going to you wear it again. So and actually, yeah. as you get more pregnant, put the tie behind yeah. you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. Okay, and finally we've got an H and M. This one is great because it's tiered. Oh, so, yeah, it's so gorgeous. Oh, this is so the first one I've seen. Pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Like, really pretty, isn't it? They do oh, yeah. it. In I that mean, lovely... hello, bridesmaids dress. Yeah, yeah totally. Great. And they do it as well in this nice kind of Zimun, Zimun-esque floral print. So, yeah, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, 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 the bows are really just and everything. Floaty, I think, you know. Yeah, yeah, 29 99 Yeah, what a bargain. Um, okay, Nightingale Beth. Tips for holiday clothing packing. How to get the most out of your outfits day to night. Mm. I think dresses like the one that you've just shown for a wedding, I buy like, I take four dresses and I make sure there's something that will look good over swimwear, look good with heels at night. Yeah. Um, so just think really carefully and just, and don't bother with separates um, and just go, yeah, with three key pieces. Yeah. Yeah. Wear your wardrobe, just wear a dress like that to breakfast. Who yeah, cares? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, if I you're wearing it with sandals and sunglasses, totally. you're not look over the yeah. top. Scrape your hair yeah. back, you can glam up in the evening. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. I also find in the day, I always think about what I'm going to wear in the day and actually always just wear the same thing. So I think don't overpack for your day and then just have different outfits for evening. Mm. Good, yeah, good. Yeah, totally. I agree. Okay. Uh, Suwu, Suwu. Suwu, Suwu, Suwu says, best basics and something interesting to transition from college, med school life to adult life please, for work weekends and date night. 
Ooh, I think a good jacket is quite good, mm -hmm. like um, an interesting jacket that you can wear over something really simple and just feel a little bit more all together mm -hmm. and a little more mm -hmm. trend. I would go for a suit to answer that question. I think you'll get so much wear out of a tube. Yeah, you've got a blazer, you've got yeah. trousers, you can wear it. All the look to work, to drinks, whatever. Maybe go for an interesting colour or a pastel mm. or something for this time of year. And Agreed. You get a lot yeah, I was going to say blazer as well. Good investment. Yeah. Got to have a, everyone can wear a blazer, yeah. can't they? At any time it's appropriate. So get the matching trousers. Mm. Agreed. Yeah. Uh, Nura Nyan is something. Says, best capsule wardrobe t-shirts, please. Black, navy, grey and white. What and we've we got? all got our own. We've got our own right? again. Yes. yes. So okay. that is what we preach. So let's go. Crew neck, Arquette, who's that? That's me. So we've got mine in black here. I have this in literally every color I wore it yesterday. It's in the striped version. Ooh, it is the that. best t shirt. I have small, medium, and large of every color. Mm. This is black in large. It is the best. They wash amazingly. They're so Feels comfortable. Really They're good. £12. <gasps> yeah. And oh my yours God. is the lightweight, oh, no. so do you two weights. It's they? the lightweight, yeah. Okay. Mm. I love them. Oh, I really like that. That one, that one sagged a little bit in the neck. So now. Okay. Uh, boxy mm. cotton tea and other stories. Who's that? That one's you, Polly. Or was it? Well, no. <laughs> it is I now. I think it was going to be you, wasn't okay, it? Okay, well, well mine, <laughs> is, mine is a linen one from Gap. I swear by Gap Basics. Um, and I've got this in navy, black and white. And it's super comfy. I love a sort of a slub oversized That's linen. Nice. You actually influenced me because you wore one yesterday and then I went straight on to Gap. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm it's going a really straight good on to Gap yeah. to buy yours <laughs> and yours after this. Um, Polly, what have you got? So I buy, again, I like stories as well, but also Topshop. I do really good cheap t-shirts. This one was like £10. And they do this kind of cool, distressing on the neckline, which just makes it feel a bit more lived in. So. That looks really soft as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it is quite soft. Love it. Well, if you want one a bit higher end, these are really expensive, I'm sorry, but I do love them. That's yeah, a great t shirt. This yeah, is feels good. ATM, and I copied Whitney from Flowerbox, who copied someone else. And, she, <laughs> and I was like, oh, the tea. And she went, I know, isn't it a winner? They do them, it's like a slub linen, and they do them in grey, black, white. Yeah. I need some new ones, actually. That's a great they are, they, Everyone needs t-shirts like this. Yeah. 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 You, you've got to have... You yeah. need three of each colour, yeah. really. Also, totally. Jay's Pass Men's Department. Yes. Yes, so good. good. Tip. So good. Okay, Christina Hong, best way to wear blazers on over your shoulders. <laughs> and what's a must-have blazer? We've got a few. We've got three. I think everyone needs a, a double-breasted, a in either black or navy, yeah. mm -hmm. a... Um, white cream smart one and then a sort of more fun trend one so this mm -hmm. one is double breasted linen from whistles, whistles yeah. Linen? yeah um i think this is just kind of a really easy throw and it's not got too much shape and structure mm -hmm. so you don't feel really smart but equally it's going to make you feel a little bit more pulled together i love a blazer that's relaxed like that that you can wear as a top as well so yes. you just need a little bit of peekaboo lace and yeah and, and yeah yes yeah. so just like, that what size is that it's enormous yeah, i think it's like it's a small, oh, I love oversized. That. Yeah, oversized. It's yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and I love that with like boyfriend jeans and heels. Yeah, to make that love that yeah. look. Love Definitely. that look. Um, what else have we got blazer wise? So Holly. we've got a white one, and this is from Stories. That's single breasted. And it feels a little it's bit heavier. Isn't it? Mm. Yeah, Stories do the best blazers. Obviously. Yeah, I totally yeah. agree. So good. Yeah, so it's really nice. Yeah, really nice. Dress that one up, I think. And finally, a bit more of a statement one. This is like pink satin. Oh wow! Think. This is the one we referenced this on the show on Tuesday. Actually. Yeah, it's got yeah. a bit of sheen. Yeah, and it's yeah. got that, the open um, sleeves as well, so yeah. it's a little bit more interesting. Yeah, um, amazing for occasion wear if yeah. you don't want to wear a dress or you're wearing it over the top as a bit of a layer. Because there um, are matching trousers. Yeah, killer, killer, gorgeous skinnies and nice. Yeah. Oh, gorgeous. Love that. Yeah. Okay, and the choice this is how do you master personal style and style hacks that work every time? Love from Germany. Take, oh, take yeah. photos. Take photos of when you know you look good and when you feel confident, and then really think about what is it about this that is working for me and just go from there. Okay, mm. that's a good tip. Okay, Louisa May Smith, I've started a new job and the dress code is smart casual. Can you give me some styling outfit inspo for potential work outfits? I think blazers is key. I think have that as your starting point and then you can sort of go more casual from top down, downwards. Yeah. So but I think on top, you want to feel a little bit more. Tailoring. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly. And just a really like slightly, slightly oversized shirt. Yeah. I think mm -hmm. don't go fitted. Don't go too small. Buy a size or two bigger yeah. in a shirt. Definitely. I think so nice with some tailored trousers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. And um, keep it simple, I yeah. think, yeah. as well. Yeah. No Wear fact. some cool shoes. Take one thing off. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Okay, la last question. Sarah Shum. Can you recommend day dresses suitable for the office that aren't too short, not sleeveless, no cleavage, no slits, no wild prints that she can wear for years? She's struggling to find any. By the way, I love your content. Thank you. Mm -hmm. What do we got? So I think really what you're looking for is a shirt dress, right? Yeah. So first we've got this one from Masmaduti, which I think are great for 
And if you are looking for Work simple wear. dresses that yes. are fussy, Massimo Duty is so good for that. Yeah. And Massimo Duty is just really good, I think, for workwear that isn't too corporate, mm -hmm. but also yes. feels like it's... Yeah. And it's yeah. chic still. Yeah. 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 yeah, really chic. And then we have actually another one from Massimo Duty, but feels a bit more relaxed and it's got a tie waist as well. I so yeah, I love that too. Really nice. Yeah. Also that, you can add big gold earrings, gold heels, and yeah. go out for the evening. Yeah. I love it. And yeah. a holiday. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. really nice. Really oh, best 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 yeah. It's got a belt around the back as well. So yeah. Really Sorry. nice. Yeah. And the last one. That. And then the last one is from Arquette. Again, Arquette are great, I think, for tailoring and workwear and stuff. And again, tie waist, nice pinstripe. God, and just easy in the summer when it's hot. You don't want loads of layers. Oh, I'm not a fan of that. So I like that. Add a straw hat. I love off this. Off a holiday. I think it's great. Yeah, this is a bit And me. I think, you know, wrap dresses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. if, yeah. I think easy for work. Agreed. Easy. So versatile. Well, I think we got through everything. Thank you, ladies. Uh, we're going to take a quick break and then I'm going to be back talking you through us, talking you through our 28 day fitness challenge. Don't go away. Sometimes we all need a bit of extra motivation to get healthy, so if you feel like you could use a bit of help before your summer holidays, then we have got the challenge for you. I'm so excited to announce the launch of our Sherlock's 28 Day Challenge, a series of workouts, healthy eating advice and self-care tips that will help you feel and look your best. We've enlisted the help of top nutritionist Rosie Millen and fitness influencer Carly Arbor to make sure every step is effective. And I'm thrilled to say they're here with me today. Hello. Welcome, Thank ladies. You. Thank you. I feel like you've done the full Sherlock's tour now. You've done the podcast, the show. Yeah, you're going to be all <laughs> Yeah, well, I know. Great. Let's do it. Um, anyway, starts on Monday. Yeah. I'm excited. We're all excited. We're all getting involved. Um, so it's a 28 day plan. And every day there is a fitness task, a nutrition task, and a wellness task. Um, it's going to be on our Instagram, so follow along. It'll also be on the site. There's a story going tomorrow with more. Um, but let's start with the fitness. Carly, hi. Yeah. Hello. Um, what sort of things can people expect to see on the fitness schedule? We're going to have a mix of high intensity, low intensity, um, different workouts, something for everybody that everybody can get involved with. Um, you don't need to have membership to a gym. You can do it at home. Um, really just a variety to keep everybody active throughout mm -hmm. the whole 28 days. And what sort of things will be on there? So we'll have um, different cardio workouts. So we'll be incorporating skipping, um, walking, running, things that you can do outside, as well as um, strength and conditioning, um, the squats, different kind of workouts for the core, upper body, lower body, mm -hmm. whole body days, um, just a very variety, um, different workouts throughout the week. And I think it's three days of the week, it's a series of exercises, so it might be like 10 jump squats, 10 yes. walking lunges, something, and then the other two days will be the cardio. Yes. And you can choose, can't you? So it might say, you know, a 30 minute swim, 10 minute skipping, or... 20 minute run or something. Yeah, whatever suits that person on that day, they'll have a pick of um, different workouts to do. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant, love it. Uh, let's talk about the nutrition. Yeah. What does that look like? 
So it's really simple things that people can implement every single day. So for example, day one is focusing on the protein. So after the workout from Carly, it's make sure you're getting at least 20 grams of protein in 30 minutes after the workout to replenish the muscles. Um, we've got day two is make sure you're eating some oily fish. So that's things like tuna, salmon, mackerel, because oily fish is very good for brain function and memory. Got to eat more oily fish. Need. Got to do that. Um, and then, for example, like I think day seven is make sure they're eating green leafy vegetables. That's things like kale, broccoli, spinach, um, because they're good sources of magnesium. And 50% of the population are deficient in mag magnesium. So it's kind of tips like that. Yeah, and it might be don't have any caffeine today yes. or try and avoid carbohydrates yes. today. or Swap your fizzy drinks for like sparkling water. Make yeah. sure you're monitoring your alcohol. And simple things like making sure you're getting adequate sleep, getting mm -hmm. outside, that kind of thing as well. But it's also realistic. So we're not saying don't drink alcohol. I think on yeah. one of the Fridays it says, if you're drinking this weekend, have a vodka lime soda or a gin and cinnamon tonic instead of sugary cocktails. So we're aware that it's summer and we all like to yeah. have fun. So it's not about depriving yourselves. No, it's it's swaps. Yeah. Um, and then we've got the wellness yes. side of it. So that's things like go to bed by 10 o'clock tonight, no social media after eight, sit down and read a book, yeah. 15 pages of a book on the sofa, not on your bed. So it's just little yeah. habits, isn't it? Yeah. And that we've discussed at length that this is not about getting beach body ready or any of that nonsense. It's about better habits. And for people who haven't listened to the podcast, which went out today, Carly, you were saying you were the sort of classic yo-yo dieter, blitz it for a holiday or an event, yes. and then off the wagon and back on. Yes, yeah, so I was the classic yo-yo dieter, and I would just really restrict my eating before an event, lose loads of weight. After the event or holiday, I would then pile it all back on and more. And for me, it was just changing the little things um, and building good habits over mm. time that I could stick to that I've noticed such a difference. Mm. And that's kind of where the 28 day challenge has come into play. Mm. Exactly. Yeah. And Rosie, you said you basically hit the wall. Yeah. Spent yeah. how long in bed? Three years. Three years. Yeah, bed bound completely, three years straight. So mine's more about energy, you know, how do we have energy throughout the day? Because energy is everything. So yeah, it was horrific. I basically was bed bound three years straight, couldn't work, couldn't do anything, couldn't even lift my head off the pillow. So and what was your diagnosis? Everything. It was severe burnout. It's also known as adrenal fatigue, but I don't like to use that because uh, people can relate to burnout much better. Right. Um, but I really had to change everything. I had to change my diet, my mindset, my lifestyle. It took me about five years to get me back on my feet. Gosh. Yeah, so I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. Yeah. Well, that is a story for another day. Yeah. I mean, look at you now. And both of you, a picture of Thank health. You. Um, you. We're also going to be suggesting some healthier habits. I mean, the whole purpose of this is about healthy habits. You know, what we hope is that people get to the end of the four weeks, they feel great, and they're going to go, actually, I don't need to use my phone after. I don't need to go on social media. We're not saying don't use your phone, we're saying don't go on social media. It's about, I'm going to try and read my book more. I'm going to try and drink more water, have more magnesium, work out on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. So we really hope that at the end, people, people feel like, feel good for it, feel like it's been achievable and want to carry on. We're also going to be suggesting some things they try and stick to, some habits that they try and stick to at the beginning of the month. Yeah. Um, talk us through some of the nutritional so habits. It's things like making sure you're not skipping meals, making sure you're eating around the clock, getting adequate sleep, following the 80-20 rule. I think we're all a big fan of that. Mm. Um, and um, you know, making sure that you get out more, get mm -hmm. outside and you're not constantly indoors. Mm -hmm. yeah, Drinking the right water. Um, you said planning your meals. Yes, planning the meals. So preparation and organisation is key. I find that's often the missing link between people doing well with their diet and not, yeah. is having a plan. And also having somebody to sort of do it with, which mm. is why we're all excited to do it yeah, together. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Great. And Carly, fitness habits are? A lot of fitness habits overlap, um, but in particular, mainly fitness is just do more. So be more active, whether that's taking the stairs, walking up the escalators, walk into the station to and from work, mm -hmm. walk into the park, round the park. Um, you can do that with family, friends, now that it's sunny outside. Mm -hmm. It's like the perfect time. And um, just being more active and trying a bit more to maybe, rather than going home and watching Netflix. Trying you out. Or Love Island. <laughs> <laughs> or Love Island, guilty. Anyway, well look, thank you both for coming on. Literally, I cannot wait, yeah. cannot wait. And the great thing is if you're away, you can you do it at any time, you know? It's, it's, it's just, a, we want to make it easy, don't we? Yes. yes.
you know, that's the key, isn't it? That's the key to success. Um, well, thank you so much. Uh, please do tune into our Instagram to keep up with the challenge and do let us know how you're getting on if we've managed to persu persuade you to join in. Thank you, Rosie and Carly, for thank coming you. in. Thank you to the Show Likes fashion team. We'll be back on Tuesday talking the books you should be reading on holiday or on your sofa. Um, don't miss it. Bye-bye. <laughs>